Hey, welcome back. In this part, we're going to be talking about links, internal links, external links, and block transclusions. So first of all, the way to open a link is to hold down the control key and to click on the text that is a link. In this case, the link is denoted by this character here or this uh, prefix. I'm going to explain to you how to customize that prefix uh, in the next part, but we're going to also talk about this a little bit here as well. So I hold down control, I click on this link, and then uh, the page that is linked open up, opens up in the same pane. You can see that these links don't look like the links on the previous page because you can actually see the wiki link uh, and you can also see the transclusion here. Um, the difference here is I have this lock button unlocked. So I had to implement a form of preview and uh, edit view for the drawings. In fact, when the lock is locked, uh, you can see that all of these links are rendered. And on this page, you can see that my uh, link prefix is uh, this uh, arrow. Um, and you can also see how uh, the block transclusion was actually rendered into this text block transclusion. So that's uh, what this uh, lock does. Still, uh, regardless of the lock, I can actually edit the drawing. I can also uh, move uh, objects around so that everything works. Uh, the only thing that doesn't work is if I double click on a text to edit it, I get a message that I need to unlock the text elements to edit. And that is because I need to manage uh, this uh, difference between the uh, wiki link view and the rendered view of uh, an object. And then looking through this, hopefully there is nothing really surprising here. Links work as you would expect them to work. The special case here is this link. So if you have a text element that is a valid web link in itself, then that text element is going to function as a link. And to show you, uh, I'm going to go ahead. You, you don't necessarily need to look uh, the drawing or go change to preview mode, the links work like this as well. So if I hold down the control key, then uh, the drawing was opened. It was opened uh, in a different uh, screen. So that's why I had to drag it here. But you can see that uh, this page was opened up. Now, in terms of the block transclusions, and what I'm going to now do is I'm going to uh, click this block transclusion and an alternative way of opening links is you can use this button up here uh, and then that's going to open this link and i'm going to hold down the shift key as i click this i could also control shift click on here and that's going to bring up the linked document and you can see that uh, in this case, if I change to edit mode, you can see here the block transclusion that has the same uh, block ID. So if I uh, pull this here, you can see that this is the same block ID. And in fact, if I type here are cool, for example, then if I come back to here and lock this, then you can see that the transcluded text uh, appears in your drawing. And I think this is uh, really cool. And then uh, looking at some of the items, yeah, we already talked about the click and the uh, shift click. Uh, if I create a completely new file, so this is a com completely new file. Uh, this doesn't exist uh, in my um, uh, in my vault, if I control click on this, then I get a message that the file doesn't exist. I need to hold down the alt button or the alt and shift button. If I hold down the control and the shift, then this will open in a new window. If now I hold down the alt button as well and uh, 
click then the new file is created and is opened up in a new pane right next to my drawing um, so those are uh, these we already talked about the lock and unlock uh, there's I, I have a shortcut for locking and unlocking it's by default set to control shift E so if I press control shift E then you can see that I can switch from the preview to the edit mode and in settings I can do two settings and let's just open up settings for a second uh, here under links I can actually um, include the square brackets around links uh, as I render it and I can change uh, this uh, prefix uh, to whatever I want so maybe I want this uh, as my prefix for links and now if I close this then uh, and I hit Control shift e to change to preview mode then you can see that I actually have square brackets around the links and I have this uh, cloud here um, as part of the link. You can actually um, customize uh, these features of the prefix and the square brackets around links uh, and we're going to talk about that in the next uh, part.